Hi, I'm Angela with Freestyle Fashionista and today I'm going to show you how to decorate slipper socks for gift giving. This is going to be our finished project, Cookie Monster. <laughs> and now I'm going to show you the ingredients you need to create him. Okay, so the ingredients you will need is a slipper sock. I chose yellow just to stay with the Sesame Street vibe. And then I went to Joann's and this is just a really basic zigzag trim. Picked up a yard of that. Obviously you need some googly eyes to give Cookie some eyes. And then I picked up three color threads up to you, two different yellows and a blue. And a little microfiber mop. Doesn't that scream Cookie? That screams Cookie to me. Two pieces of felt for the cookies. This is for the chocolate chip, this is for the base. And for the tools, obviously you're gonna need some stick pins, some fabric glue, I have a little paper plate here because that's the way I like to work. And then I have an X-Acto razor and I also have some fabric shears. All right, the good news about this project, you guys, I got everything except for the felt and the googly eyes at the dollar store. Yes. So you can make this project for probably about $5. So we're going to cut open the sponge, cut all the way around. And there's no right or wrong with this, just, you know, you basically need a really small chunk. Okay, so now you'll have this and this, just toss that aside, and you're left with this. I'm going to cut that in half, because Cookie's head doesn't need to be that big. I'm just going to fold it in half and cut it. And now we have the beginning of Cookie's face. <laughs> so take your slipper sock, and... We're gonna end up putting this right along the front. So I'm gonna pin that down. I'm just gonna take my googly eyes and make a little space for them where they're gonna live. And take the glue, dab it in there, and then put his first eyeball on. And then we're gonna stick the other googly eye on. Okay, now that his eyeballs are secure, we are starting to bring him to life. We are going to put his mouth on. So you just need to measure how big you want his mouth and then go ahead and cut your trim. So you want to go ahead and put the glue on the trim and you can go ahead and put the glue across the whole piece since it's not that long. It won't dry by the time you set it. And then I like to make the trim end facing up so it looks like he's smiling. That's just a little, little tip. And then press that in. And now we're going to start working on his cookies. So, bring the felt over, and you just want to cut a little square. And then these do not need to be perfect. I mean, if you wanted to get a hole punch, you could, but I've never seen a perfectly round cookie. Fold it in half, and then just do little moons. Same with the chocolate chips. You're going to do the same exact thing. Take your cookie and drag it across the fabric glue. And then you're just going to randomly place that on, press it down, get a little chocolate chip, same thing. Your fingers are going to get messy. You can use tweezers if you want to, but it's easier to do it by hand. And then stick the little chocolate chip on there. All right, guys, so now we have done Cookie Monster's cookies. Those are pretty much dry, but you want to let them dry overnight. So I'm going to go ahead and sew his head on now. So you want to just have a needle and thread. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use blue just so it matches the top of this. And then you just want to hand sew this all the way around. All right, guys, so this is our finished project. That is how you decorate slipper socks for gift giving. I'm Angela with Freestyle Fashionista. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.